In this playoff series, every team has had a chance to make and be a part of NBA history. But in this series, there are two teams that have gained my undivided attention. Throughout this first round of the playoff series, the Golden State Warriors and the Sacramento Kings both played elite basketball. Both of these teams played with a chip on their shoulder as they both had some pretty big things at stake. And today we are going to be reviewing each game of this first round series. Coming into the first game of the first round of the series, the Sacramento Kings would already make history by winning their first playoff game in 17 years after overtaking the Golden State Warriors 126 to 123. After the game, De'Aaron Fox would have this to say, Sacramento showed out tonight, but doing this for the fans, just knowing the way that they support this team through thick and thin, is just a testament to what they are. Going into game two, the Kings would again emerge victorious, hugely in part to Draymond Green making a dumb decision by stomping on DeMontis Sabonis and then trying to argue the call. Like come on, there's no way a ref would miss such a blatant foul or even look the other way at this. After Draymond was ejected, the Sacramento Kings knew they had a win in the bag and they did just that by winning 114-106 to take a 2-0 lead. While the Kings had a two game lead, that didn't stop the Golden State Warriors from coming back to game three with a vengeance. After winning game three with a great performance from Steph, he would say this in an interview. Understanding how bad of a decision I think the league made on suspending Draymond, you're frustrated with that. We have a job to do and there's nothing else we can do about it. We obviously understand the consequences of it, like if we lost tonight, and nobody wanted to feel that. Pretty bluntly, if we lost this game, it would pretty much be over. You gotta understand the moment and we gave ourselves life. It also helped that Curry would also go on to score 36 points that night and had his whole team fired up as well. Going into game four, Draymond would come off the bench for the Warriors. And while both teams played with a lot of heart and exceptionally well, the Warriors would barely come out on top with a one point lead over the Sacramento Kings to even up the series two to two. It also helped that Curry dropped another 32 points, being the lead scorer on that team. Draymond also dropped some numbers in Draymond fashion by scoring 12 points, grabbing 10 boards and dishing out 7 assists all in 31 minutes of play. In Game 5, the Golden State Warriors would play impressive basketball which at this point is almost expected of them. In this game, it wouldn't just be Steph lighting up the Kings, but it would also be Draymond by scoring his first 20 point game since 2019. With the Warriors clinging to a 111-110 lead with just under 4 minutes to play, the Kings forced the ball out of Steph Curry's hands, outside the 3 point line and he found Green at the elbow. Green took a dribble towards the paint and then pulled up for a fadeaway jumper that rattled in. That play would ultimately be the decision maker for Golden State as they pulled through to take a 3-2 lead over the Kings. In Game 6, the Sacramento Kings challenged themselves to play with the very identity that got them this far in the first place. Push the ball in transition, make all the hustle plays, and defend with fury. And that they did, as Malik Monk would score 28 points, De'Aaron Fox would score 26 points with 11 assists, and the playoff newcomer Kings would stave off elimination in their first round playoff series by beating Curry and the Golden State Warriors 118, 99 and forcing a game seven on the Kings home court. Heading into game seven, the game would start off slow. In the first quarter, the Kings and Warriors would both make some tough shots, but would not pull away from each other too much in terms of score. In the second quarter, Curry got fouled and missed both free throws but that was pretty much the only highlight from the second quarter. To start off the third quarter, it looked like Game 7 nerves invaded the King's veins as the Warriors would pull away with as much as a 10 point lead and with seconds winding down in the third, it would be insult to injury as Clay would knock down a 3 while being fouled and ultimately sink the free throw making it a 4 point play. The fourth quarter would seem super bleak for the Sacramento Kings as the Golden State Warriors would be up by 10 to start out. 
and it didn't help that the Game 7 jitters were in full effect and it seemed that the Kings couldn't hit a shot or hang on to the ball. With 7 minutes and some change winding down, it would be at this point that I personally knew the Kings weren't coming back from the decimation Golden State presented because at this moment, Steph Curry would throw up a super long range 3 that just left me speechless. At this point, it was near the end of the game and the Kings were down by 19 points. But it was obviously super fun to even think about what would happen if the Kings had won. Especially considering that if you told me a year ago that the Kings would make the playoffs, I would have laughed right in your face. The stats were also crazy, as Curry would score 50 points, the most points ever scored in a Game 7 in all of NBA history. And Kevon Looney was an absolute beast, scoring 11 points and grabbing 21 boards. It's safe to say that the Lakers are going to have an extremely hard time trying to stop Steph and the rest of the team and I can't wait to see what round two of the series holds. And as we near the end of the video, I wanna know, what was your favorite moments of the first round of the playoffs? Make sure to comment down below and like the video if you happen to make it to the end. Thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.